You'd be surprised how easily you could make that up, Red, because guess what? Hello, everyone. So Red has given us an update and basically his recap of what happened at the Let's O on the night of March 1st. I thought it would be fun if we heard what he had to say. So without further ado, I'll roll my intro. We'll get right into it. It's all gone to rat shit. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> Okay, hello, hello, hello. How are you lovely people out there? Today is Saturday the 2nd of March. I uh, hope everybody is having a fantastic day and weekend. Uh, if I look a Thank you, Red. I am having a fantastic day and weekend. And I hope everyone else is too, including you. A little bit tired. That's because I am. Uh, for many of you, you were on... Uh, Oh, uh, Leto and Minnows last night, and we had uh, the pleasure of our CEO. Uh, for me, it was a 2 a.m. start, and I managed to get to about a half past four. Got a couple of hours sleep because I was actually at work uh, for 6.30 a.m. Uh, talking of work, uh, this will only be on for about 20 minutes or so because I have to shoot back and do a little bit more as well. Uh, before I get into recaps and talking about Ash on uh, Letso last night, a uh, couple of updates for you. Uh, first one is yesterday, don't know if you saw, but there was a 14-day extension on uh, O-Tracker. Uh, so if you're in your OES, you might have noticed that happened yesterday. 14 days has been added. Yes, 14 days has been added to O Tracker, so O founders don't have to pay out of pocket because Ash doesn't want to pay them their commission. To that, uh, which is kind of not the normal. Normally it's on a seven day cycle, but this time it's a straight 14 days, uh, which obviously means that um, that's kind of going to be aligning with where we are uh, for the 10 day extension, etc. Uh, for O Connect. Uh, also, yes, and in case you missed it, the O Connect has also been extended for an extra 10 days for the same reason. Now, you would think that this would make them worried, but instead, for some reason, they're taking it as something to be happy about. Like it's a bonus they're getting. Remember, they were promised that they would be paid commissions before they ever had to pay out of pocket again. These extensions are just because Ash has not paid them yet. So um, today there was a repost by Mohammed Nassal on X. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed that. And that is to do with the upcoming event uh, for the Global Police Summit uh, that has been held in Dubai from the 5th to the 7th. And the last one then is obviously the notes, the written notes from Ash being on the webinar last. Before we get into the webinar from March 1st, I did do a live stream where I showed you all the ads for the World Police Summit. They did buy a sponsorship spot, so do go and check that out. Last night uh, are in your O Founders back office under the updates section, written by our fantastic quartet, and they got it out really, really quick. It, the very precise uh, notes I've taken. Now, I'm obviously not going to go through the whole of those notes because they are extensive, uh, a lot of questions. And I think for the best part, our CEO did his very best to be able to give us some very honest answers. There was obviously areas that he couldn't. He should always answer everyone's questions. Also, the questions were things like, Mr. Ash Mufara, what about you makes you better than all the other people that work in the tech industry? There's never any pushback from the O founders. Talk about mainly because um, the solutions haven't been finalized. Uh, and also there was questions about products and uh, other areas. Uh, again, he can't divulge all that type of information. But one thing's for sure is it was a really big insight, uh, in my opinion, last night. Um, 
that uh, that our CEO gave us about what was going on and how the company's gone. And Tanya's just reminded me in the chat there as well, the recording of last night is going to be on in around about two hours time on over 20 channels, including this one. Uh, so if you want to spend a few hours listening to it or you missed it, uh, then pop over to any of those channels and it will be streaming there for you to listen in. Now, the first part of last night, several channels did post it. It went for about five hours. So there's that really was all about uh, how on passive as journey has been evolving. And at a very early age uh, of the business, Ash really did recognize that things really weren't going according to his plan. Um, call it naivety, call it trust, call it, um, I don't know, things just weren't uh, uh, how he wanted it to go. And a lot of this was down to he perceived that the people who were coming into on passive from uh, the users, founders point of view, and also the people who were working on the other side, employees of on passive, would all have the similar kind of mindset uh that he has as far as this business is concerned yeah guys of course ash is not the problem it's not that he didn't at all plan this business properly it's not the fact that most of these products that he dreams up are impossible like this real-time translator or the fact that he never even hired a tech team until recently to even work on the products no 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 that that's not the issue the issue is everybody else well quite frankly he couldn't be further away from the truth and from very early on there was a lot of sabotaging going on mainly due down to um exploitation greed um other factors like this so uh, he was telling us about the story of uh, how uh, he's had to overcome so many different things and it really has helped him because it happened so early on that he's learned a lot of lessons and because of the lessons he's learned, uh, now he, he has very much a different approach to people. Uh, Basically, the whole conspiracy theory got much worse and Ash dove deeper into it. I really don't want to react to it because it was so similar to the one that I've already reacted to. The big rant he went on just a few days before. But basically, he talked about how everyone is so corrupt and everyone is trying to sabotage him. Because he's so amazing and has all these brand new ideas. And nobody actually wants someone to be such a quick success as he's turning out to be. And at the beginning, he didn't realize that not everyone had the exact same vision and dreams as him for on passive. So he claims that due to that, it's been really hard for him out here. You know, it's hard out here for a scammer. Uh, that is from user's point of view, founder's point of view, and also especially especially from his employees' point of view. A lot of people he's had to let go because they really haven't made the grade of what he is expecting. But one thing he's also done as well is he decided that he couldn't put all his unpassive eggs all in one basket. And what he did was he started working things alongside what is all already there and implemented. And a lot of this was to do with bringing people in separately to different locations, using their experience uh, within the sectors because he's learned a little bit more every single time. And as it's transpired, he's, he called this phase one, phase two, phase three. And he said, as it's transpired, phase two and three have almost overtaken what was the very first phase. And it was very interesting uh, to listen to him talking about this because... Spoiler, it wasn't that interesting. It was all very much the same hoopla that he talks all the time. And it's just for him to give an excuse as to why nothing is done yet in this thing. 
after five years, right? He should be way beyond this with this company running for five years if we base it on what he's claimed about the company. So now this is his way of backtracking. And instead of him taking accountability, he's blaming it on everyone else and everything else he possibly can. Because it's not him, of course. My name is Ash Mufara, and I'm your friend. He gave us, from this end, a very good insight into behind the scenes a little bit about what has been going on, about the negativity and really corruption that is going on uh, from all sides, to be absolutely honest. Uh, you couldn't make it up, could you, that uh, people within the company, people externally from the company, people who are founders, all of these combinations were all trying to uh, drag on passive down and make us not succeed. You'd be surprised how easily you could make that up, Red, because guess what? It, it certainly has taught him a lot of life lessons uh, in business and also uh, to do with people. And I think it's done him and the company and us uh, a lot of favours, in all honesty, because if this had happened further on down the line, he might have been too into or too far in a project that he couldn't diversify into uh, another area. Uh, there were some great questions that were asked, that's for sure. Uh, they're very well explained in the notes of what it was. Uh, if you are a person who's on here and want to know about uh, payments, but and of course, none of the questions were answered unless they were questions such as, why is Ash so amazing and great? Why is this company so much better than everyone else? Payments, uh, commissions, etc. They're all in the notes. Uh, he gave his best uh, objective answers to them. And I keep reverting back to the same thing of what I'm saying is that you cannot have one without the other. And what do I mean by this? Is you cannot have a commercially paid product that you are able to purchase if the money that's flowing in is not flowing out as well. And I'm sure this is the game plan of on passive is to make sure you actually mean to say that ash cannot pay out to anyone until people start paying him more money right that this two-way street of money going in and money going out is as bulletproof as they can make it and as um as as efficient as they can possibly make it before they start releasing more paid products. It was also very interesting uh, to hear about O-Connect and about how I got the impression, I don't know if you guys will agree with me here, but I certainly got the impression that the new version of O-Connect that we are going to see has been uh, produced and made by a completely different uh, head of technicians than the old one was. Now, I might be completely wrong. This is just my... Is that because you're not going to use Google plugins in this one? Or is that because he got Dr. Eamon Rached on the team? Like My opinion from what I was kind of uh, listening to, uh, that's the kind of impression I got that the new one that's coming in from uh, a, a different... Uh, source or a different department okay is not the original ones that we or not the original one we saw and being produced by the original ones uh, we saw now again it was also really interesting uh, to listen to Ash talking about the different departments and again uh, I was picking up on all of these different departments are actually their own businesses in their own right. Are they all directed towards on passive? Yes, 100% they are. But I believe they are standalone businesses in their own right. And who the name on the on the top of the sheet is concerned, it really does not, ma does not matter. 
Uh, yeah, if you're unaware, the recovering Hunbot just recently outed that Mohammed Kamal is listed as CEO in several different places. And so this is kind of their cope for that. They're shook over it. Um, because what he's doing there is, again, not putting all his eggs in the on passive basket. He's making sure that by having se uh, separate um, off companies from on passive, that makes it a much more secure uh, environment because each individual because they're being sued by the usa sec for 108 million dollars and there's a good chance that they will be forced to shut down ash has been through this before with his ash max company and so because of that he's trying to save his butt and make it so that if that happens on passive can still run right red organization company whatever you want to call it their focus is on what they are doing. When you bring it into the fold of the whole of uh, on passive, then you get sidetracked. People get sidetracked or get dragged into doing other jobs or whatever it may be. And so their focus then gets taken away from what their project is. And that is the business that they are. Call it O-Connect, call it um, O-Tracker maybe. I don't know. But that's the kind of uh, strategy that I felt from what he was saying that he's had to ad adjust to because of the problems he's had. And there was a, I think there was a lot of pressure from a lot of areas and he really needed to uh, set something else up uh, outside of on passive. Get that going, get that up to speed, make sure that is working before he could then. Uh, address what was happening internally as far as on passive the company uh, was concerned. Are you kidding me, Red? This is an awful way to sum that up. Uh, so it was really interesting, wasn't it, in my opinion, to listen to that part. And for me, that was actually more uh, informative than the questions that people are asking uh, to Ash Mafara. Yes, don't get me wrong. These are all pertinent questions that we want to know about, but they are only uh, basically, yes, it's going to be happening. No, it's not going to be happening. Uh, it's in the pipeline, all these kind of uh, replies. And for me, the big information, the really big information was the whys and the hows of where we are right now. And if you listen to it and take that part on board and allow it to sink in and think about it, then the on passive journey picture becomes a lot, lot clearer because you can. Instead, may I recommend you go and watch my reaction to the leaked tech stream? You'll get more information on where they actually are right now with this thing. And if, if you are a person that's been engaged throughout the journey of your time with us, then you will, you know yourself of different scenarios of different things that have happened. Uh, call them delays, call them glitches, call them whatever you want to uh, hear to. Then bar the third party ones that he has zero control over, the other ones make a lot of sense you know it's very easy for people to say yes don't worry we've got it it's going to be ready and all the rest of it how many times have you been in those types of scenarios where people agree to you they in front of you they are saying yes yes no yes no problem we've got it blah blah and then in reality you're six weeks down the line where is it it's all gone to ratchet in fact that's the situation that they're all in now. Uh, because they haven't come up with the goods. And then where are you left? I think this has happened a few times uh, as far as on passive the company is concerned. And I do believe, reading between the lines of what Ash was saying yesterday, that he's been forced because of what has been happening and because he wants to protect the company and... Uh, make sure that the goals of what he wants for the company and for us are achieved, 
then he's had to go down this different route. And as actually it's happened, this has been an absolute blessing in disguise because sometimes in life, when you get forced down different avenues and different roads, they end up being better. And I certainly got the impression that from him last night that these different roads that he's been forced down because of things out of his control or what other people have done, etc., then it really has made it better scenario for us. Why? Because he said last night, uh, these different avenues, the, the, the productivity is better, the products are better and they're cheaper. You know, and when you start taking this on board and you're looking at the big picture, you're thinking, actually, what a genius move it was for him to do that. I mean, I can't lie. It's grimy as hell and I wish he didn't do it. But it is a smart move for a scammer, isn't it? Now, I don't really know how he sleeps at night, to be honest, because his brain and thinking must be going 10 to the dozen 24-7. Me either, Red. I don't know how he sleeps at night either, because my conscience would be guilty as fuck if I were him, and that would keep me up. To try and work out scenarios, sort problems out, and all the rest of it, and really be like a chess player of trying to be four, five, ten steps. What do these guys all think that being a CEO of a company is? Like, I expect better from Red, because allegedly he had a restaurant at some point. So I'm like, you know what it takes to run a real business. Why do you all praise Ash for doing things that CEOs of companies do? Like, it's weird. Of course he has to problem solve and plan things. And then execute those plans. But he fails every time. What are we praising him for? And what do you think he's supposed to be doing? It's ahead of the game. So that you are going to be the winner in the end. Now, having to think of all these scenarios and different scenario equations all of the time. It's pretty hard to sleep, isn't it? Because your brain is going all over the place. But for me, it was fantastic. Uh, I really enjoyed it, uh, even though I was a little bit sleepy, a little bit tired, but very, very interesting. So I do recommend, especially... Yeah, but Red, you get super duper excited about the website colors changing, okay? So I don't know if you're the greatest gauge on what's exciting and amazing. That first half when Ash came on, if you haven't seen it, if you haven't listened to it, then please go and listen to it on any of the YouTube channels that are going to be coming up in a couple of hours time. It really is insightful. Uh, it really, that's not the right word, uh, insightful, maybe, I don't know. Uh, it really was for me um, a good look behind the on passive curtains. One thing's for sure, Ed Our dear friend Jean Oliva says, it was just brilliant and humbling. It's under some help. Everything that he was saying, all of the things that he has been saying are going to happen this year. And that for me really is uh, heartwarming. It really is giving me a lot of confidence. Obviously, people are still going to be saying, what about bonuses? What about this and all the rest of it? Absolutely fine. And Ash actually did say himself, if he was one of us, he would have the same questions. He said it's only natural. Yeah, yet he still doesn't answer them or pay anyone. It's crazy. Uh, that we have these um, concerns, questions, whatever it may be. But what he did say to us was, we've got this, guys. Do not worry. Okay? It's even better than what you think. I know what I said before, and I know I'm saying it again. But let us do what we need to do. And he said, all this will be history. He said, you are going to be amazed. Yeah, he pumped everything up more. It was already very exaggerated what he claimed that they were accomplishing. Now it's even more exaggerated because th that makes sense. Let's do that. And when he's talking in this manner, for me, it really is uh, great to listen to because 
we all need a pickup, don't we? We all need that reassurance. We all need to know that we're going to be OK. And when you have the CEO who's coming out, recognising our concerns, not disagreeing with us, actually agreeing that, yes, I would probably have these as well. Irina Stexala, thank you so much for your super sticker. That is really, really kind. I do appreciate it. I Yes, Red, that's why he does it. Because it further manipulates people like you, who for some reason can't see through this, even though they're still not getting paid. And the products still suck. Honestly, I do. But when you have these, uh, your CEO actually saying, I agree with you, but I've got this. All right, I, I, everything I am doing I'm doing for you guys to make you the winners, to make you the heroes, to make and change your lives. That gives me confidence. That gives me my security in knowledge that I need. That's all I need. Do we need the money? Goes without saying. Everybody does. You can't have one without the other. You cannot have the uh, security of your family, the security of uh, living and all the rest. See, now Jerry Nix here says, all I want, and I am not greedy, just 10 million a month. And I know that sounds like a joke or an over-exaggeration, except Ash has pretty much promised them that they would be millionaires. So the expectations here are very, very high, even for payments. And they haven't gotten one cent and it keeps getting pushed back. And then Ash does a speech like this, and as you can see, they all just eat it up like candy. It's like watching insanity. Without money, you know, I mean, it's, <laughs> and it's getting harder and harder. Things are getting more and more expensive. But when you've got the CEO saying, that's not gonna be a problem, we've got this sorted for you, all I'm trying to do is to make sure that you're going to have the best of the best, and I have a high bar. He was talking about this last night, about there is one product, which was the virtual background and video. Two years they've been working on it, two years. He said, yes, I could use a third-party company. I could bring it in. They could give me their stock, and we could have it out on Oconnect, and you could use it, but it's not good enough. It's not a good enough quality. Is it a good enough quality for 100 people on a webinar? Absolutely, he said. Is it good enough for 1,000 people on a webinar? Starting to get a bit grainy. 10,000, not good at all. And then he said, what about if there's 1 million people on a webinar watching, for instance, a... Uh, a um, festival or music or or games or, or sporting events or whatever, and they are all using virtual backgrounds. It wouldn't be possible. And for him... Yeah, so it's taken five years to get to this point. So why do you think that in a few weeks they're going to have everything going smoothly and everyone's going to be able to get paid? It could be another five to ten years based on how things have been going until this product is done. So, I, again, I don't know why you're so confident, Red. I guess that is all it takes for you, huh? Is just Ash talking to you, relating with you a little bit, pumping you up. And then you'll let him get away with anything. Only the best will do. This is why, as well, that he talked about revamping from scratch. Some, not from scratch, but certainly revamping from a very low level tools and products that we are already using. He mentioned o, uh, Onet. I'm really pleased about that because in its current state, it's not something that's going to attract the masses from other social media. First time you've been honest about that because every other time you guys said that Onet was fabulously amazing. But I guess you couldn't hide the fact anymore that it sucks, huh? Yeah, so he recognizes and knows that and that's getting addressed. He talked about O-Mail. That is going to get um, redesigned, redone. Again, we all know that. Does it work? Yes, it does. 
Is it something that somebody out externally using Gmail or whoever they're using now going to flock into in its current state? No, it's not. And this is exactly how businesses evolve and move forward by recognizing where the yeah, but come on, right? You got to admit that this thing's moving at a snail's pace, okay? Consumership is. Now, you can never, ever, obviously, you think you know what the consumers are going to like and how they're going to use things. But it's only the usage by a consumer that is going to give you those kind of statistics. And it was really interesting him to recognize that some things that we produced just aren't up to scratch. And obviously, his bar now has got higher and higher and higher in exactly what he is looking for. Whereas before he would tell us what new products are coming out, what they're working on, it should be with us shortly, all the rest of it, he's learned by those mistakes. It doesn't do us, the user, any favor, but one thing's for sure, it certainly... This comment is the craziest comment I've ever seen, the one from Michael Chatta here. Loyalty makes us family, Mr. Ash Mufara, with way too many emojis. Like, what is that? Why we got swords and shit? Are we sword fighting? Do I need to get a shield? Does not do externally any favor either, because people pick up on it. They might even steal uh, products. He told us about this, about people actually uh, stealing coding uh, of our products and actually setting up other companies because they have stolen code and uh, uh yeah and that's ridiculous because you're literally using open source code that anyone is allowed to use and like google plugins and stuff that again other people can use so you can't now claim that stuff as your own stop that no one's taking anything from you uh product workings from the business because they'd been working on it. So I, for me, it was an excellent webinar, a really good look behind the scenes. And I know I'm. this is a recap, but for me, the best recap part of it I can give you is the insight into the business, the insight into a little bit of Ashmi Farah, but more so in the whys and the reasons behind the whys of what has happened. Questions and answers, they're there on the written recap in your back office. You can go and read them. The answers are there. What I do know is we cannot thank him enough for being in this company. There's plenty who don't agree with me. I get that. That is your prerogative. That is entirely up to you. For me, I know where my home is and it is on passive. And as far as I'm concerned, it always will be. I know that I know where my home is and it is on passive. Wow, Red, that was profound. What a poet. I have got a CEO who has got my back. My name is Ash Mufara and I'm your friend. He was doing everything within his heart is his um What's the word I'm looking? He's got he's trying to do everything within his power. That's the word I'm looking for to make it good for us. Walt McLaren. Thank you for your super sticker and Colonel Daniel Lee. It's very kind of you guys. It really, really is. And when you've got a CEO who is doing everything in their power for the benefit of us, you know, nobody's. That for me will do so. That is why I'm in on passive. That's why I was excited about last night, because I really, really now understand more about the journey than I ever did. Anyway, guys, it is now 25 past. I've got a. Yeah. And just like the love has one cult with the on passive cult, it's all about the journey, right? Shoot off because I've got to be over there for half past. No time to say any hellos, unfortunately. Please go and have a look at least to the first part before they get to Q&A uh, when the uh, recording comes out.
obviously I'd love to watch it on here if you can that'd be great and I would like to hear from your comments as well you know feedback is really what has driven so many things in on passive your feedback you know he specifically asked for your questions last night what are you thinking what are you what are your questions that you want to have answers to and then in my opinion he barely answered the questions let me know if in future you want me to react to either the live stream or you would like to just read through the question and answers with me down below i read every single comment uh fatima thank you so much my darling for your super sticker really really good thank you i read all the comments that have written on youtube a because there's negativity on there and i don't want it on my youtube but also i love to hear from you guys and i do relay a lot of things that uh, i see on there if somebody asks a question i can answer it i always do all right which one of you guys are going into red's comment section he says that there's lots of negativity out here you guys going in there and telling him it's a scam Dear Red, Unpassive is a scam. Do not let Ash lie to you and manipulate you. Signed, Queen of Karma. There we go. And that wasn't negative. Okay, so please, when you see uh, the uh, the recording of last night, put a few comments in. Let's see if we can generate uh, a few more questions or at least, if nothing else, relay it all back to our CEO. Thank you so much, guys, for being on. I hope I've done the webinar justice to give you an idea from my point of view of what I saw. I think I'm pretty close to the mark in what I interpreted it. And don't forget, you have to have your ash, uh, ash um, what's the word I'm looking for? Your uh, beacon on a little bit to sort of navigate in between what he's saying. Uh, and generally speaking, I think I'm pretty close to the mark. Yeah, you always got to translate Ash, right? Read between the lines. But at the same time, you said he did such a good job of explaining more things to you and answering all the questions. So, like, which one is it? Now, you put your finger down, sir. That's rude. Uh, one other thing as well. Uh, there was a new OES uh, update on Android yesterday. Uh, to 1.0.4.5 if you haven't done that on Android, okay? Anyway, guys, thanks so much. Not on tomorrow, but I'll be back Monday for... Oh, Lord, Red, you almost got through the whole thing without giving us an unnecessary, useless update. And then you go and say that. Where are you going, Red? Monday, uh, on Monday, obviously, with Jane. Okay, guys, speak to you all very, very soon. Bye for now. Where are you going, Red? I guess we'll never know. Goodbye, Red, and thank you for the update. So basically, Ash was successful in brainwashing and indoctrinating Red more. O-Connect has been extended for 10 days. O-Tracker has been extended for 14 days instead of 7. Wow. And Ash dove deeper into the conspiracy theory that we've heard the last time that we heard him ramble on so that he doesn't have to take accountability for anything and can put the blame on everyone else for the company's problems here. Interesting, right? Let me know down below what you think of this. And also let me know down below if you want to watch me react to Ash or if you just want me to read through it, we can kind of just read through it, see what questions and answers were. Austin given, you know, let me know down below and no matter where you are, what you're doing, I hope that you have a fabulous rest of your day. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah. Bye. Remember, don't join on passive. It's a scam. It's all gone to rat shit. Fuel to the top, got
got a filled up engine In my thoughts obsession I will not stop, no I'm never second guessing I got a god complex Haters love to hate but I never feel pressed Got a lot on my plate but I never get stressed I'll take all the pressure like I'm basing this test oh. Tear it up like I'm Jason I see the world like it's ready for the taking I see this place like a game I'm playing Straight to the bank to collect my payments No negotiations It's my way, I was born impatient And like a damn Freemason I'll run this nation They call me a